What long anticipated movie will be hitting the screens in December? And whose memoir is sparking conversation? Rocco, tonight all the monsters are going to dance. <laughs> Making Ken feel like Halloween. This, <laughs> this is, is The Blurb. blurb. What's good, web watchers? I'm the celebrity formerly known as Rocco Grassi, Roger Kefley. And I'm your favorite Ravenclaw, Alex Thompson. Thank you for spending your night with us here on The Blurb. We've got a real scary episode for you all tonight. Yes, well, starting off tonight with some sad news. Matthew Perry, the actor who was best known for playing Chandler Bing on Friends, was found dead at his Los Angeles area home on Saturday. His family said in an exclusive statement to people, quote, Matthew brought so much joy to the world, both as an actor and as a friend. You all meant so much to him, and we appreciate the tremendous outpouring of love, end quote. TMZ reported that sources said first responders were called to the residency for cardiac arrest and that no illicit drugs were found at the scene. In addition, the outlet obtained 911 dispatch audio in which drowning is referenced. We here at the Blurb send our condolences to the friends and family of Perry. Yes, that we do. Um, some more pop culture news. Britney Spears' long-awaited memoir, The Woman and Me, is finally out and in bookstores near you today, telling her story of what it's like to feel trapped, first by poverty, then by fame, then by her family. Delving into her romantic relationships, failed marriages, mental health battles, and that conservatorship as well as the life after. An excerpt saying, quote, Migraines are just one part of the physical and emotional damage I have now that I'm out of the conservatorship, end quote, she writes. Quote, I don't think my family understands the real damage that they did, end quote. Telling her side of things from the, mis from the misconceptions from the press. I'll be adding that to my reading list. I'm very excited to log in on my Goodreads. Yes, yeah. well, get ready, Studio Ghibli fans. The next Hayao Miyazaki film, The Boy and the Heron, finally has a release date. You can see it in theaters starting December 8th. The Boy and the Heron is about Mojito, a young 12-year-old boy struggling to settle in a new town after his mother's death. However, when a talking heron informs Mojito that his mother is still alive, he enters an abandoned tower in search of her, which takes him to another world. The English dub also features a star-studded lineup with actors like Christian Bale, William Dafoe, Robert Pattinson, and Florence Pugh. The scoring will also be composed by Joe Hishiyashi, who has done scoring for a handful of other iconic Ghibli films, such as Howl's Moving Castle. Very excited about that. Yes. And speaking of films, don't go anywhere, as next up, we'll be giving you a crazy catalog of creepy, crawly flicks to watch for your horror fix. Good evening, viewers. I'm Del, but tonight, I'm Marshall Lee, the Vampire King. We all know that Halloween is mostly about like enjoying candy and, and costumes and even the crazy parties. But one of the best things to come out of this time of the year are the scary movies, of course. And, for, and I for sure really enjoy scary movies. And I'm excited to hear everyone else's. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll start. My favorite uh, movie in general, and also my favorite horror movie, is Coraline. I love it. It was always a childhood staple of mine. I always watch it, and I watch it a lot. It's my comfort movie, and uh, I could talk for hours about it. But. Coraline freaked me out so much when I was younger, so even now, I just absolutely refuse <laughs> to watch it. Really? Still? You will yeah, I'm a scaredy cat, I won't lie. Like, there's some things I'll watch, like, out of necessity. Like, I watched Midsommar just, like, I felt like it was out of necessity as like mm. a film student, but Coraline, you will not catch me watching. That's fair. <laughs> I, I'm with you on that. I, I saw the trailer and I never <laughs> saw the movie. <laughs> I say for me, my favorite uh, horror movie would probably be Jeepers Creepers 2. It's so suspenseful, man. I remember watching it with my dad, just like um, just seeing Jeepers Creepers pick them off one by one. There's even a scene where like um, the guy on the bus, the bus driver, gets snatched up just out of nowhere, no, no one was paying attention. So it's like those special movies. Even um, uh, Monster House, I feel like no one talks about that movie enough. Monster House is a classic. That's a classic. Uh, Scary Godmother on top of that. Oh, I haven't seen that, that one, one in years. That one's so like, that one feels like a fever dream. It's, it it is, it's a fever dream. It is. I, I can't tell like, you the plot. I, I can't either. I just <laughs> yeah. know there's a witch and there's a kid <laughs> who is like, what, hates Halloween or something? Something like that, and the older like siblings all are really rude to the kid. So. Oh. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. I even enjoy um, Zombieland. That's a that's a really, really fun. I love a good zombie movie, man. Yeah. Uh, I was just talking about zombie movies earlier today. What was your favorite? I one? was like, they terrify me, but sometimes <laughs> I still watch them. Um, so I, not as much as Coraline. <laughs> no. Um, the I think I I don't know if you're gonna consider this a zombie movie. Now I'm blanking on it, but um, Will Smith. Will Smith. Oh. Uh, what is it? 
I am legend. I am legend. Oh, I've never seen Shout out to my dad. He introduced me to I am legend. I don't. Th th those are zombies. Okay. But Train to Busan is also like phenomenal. That's Train to Busan is it's genuinely like probably one of the best movies ever. Like, yeah, absolutely heartbreaking. But you yeah. have to give like Zombieland his props to. I mean, dude literally has like a whole list of do's and what not to do like during a zombie apocalypse. I always take like double tap. Is mm -hmm. it like kind of? Is it like a comedy? Kind it's of? kind. Of, yeah, it's okay. mostly like it's kind of funny. comedy. It's, it's really okay. funny, but it's like okay. very serious. That movie also feels like a video game yeah. in the okay. best way possible. Like, mm -hmm. almost like Scott Pilgrim vibes. Okay, yeah. I've heard. How do we feel know. about like Jordan P um, Peele's type of movies? Like, no, get out. I love, like, I love a good out. Argument. Get away. No, no, like a good like, argument no, I always no, hear is like, is it really horror or psychological thriller? Jordan? I feel Both. like you can go either way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Both, yeah. Jordan Peele's films are the only films within the horror genre that I will like actively try to see in theater. Mm, yep. Anything else, I'm like, I want to watch this at 3 p.m. when I have hours of sunlight left and I can watch something nice afterwards. I will gladly go see a Jordan Peele film at night. I sure like I'm, Nope. I'm gonna be real. I love Snow. I did, but not as much as Get Out or um, Us. I didn't see it or see Us. I only seen Get Out. What? Yeah. Us I, is definitely his scariest. My yes. nephew told Blue me about it. I just forgot movie. about yes. it. Mm -hmm. So, good. so she just, good. She was robbed of an Oscar nomination. I agree. I completely fantastic. agree. Yeah. I think Get Out is his best. Thank Us you. is his scariest, mm -hmm. and Nope is his most impressive. Mm -hmm. Because nope was just the general like scale of how big Nope was. I. Like, nope, nope made me feel sick. Nope. Yeah. I felt physically sick, like with, with the scene with the That's alien, true. like yeah. sucking yeah. up the people. Oh, it's oh. so good though. It's such a great film. Get Out gave me like a nightmare. Like I was like scared after I saw that movie. Like the part where the mom just goes like now sink or she say yeah. fall into like he fell into like the the chair, dude. Yeah. No, that get, was crazy. Get Out made me mad because the scene where he's trying to leave and Rose is like looking for the keys. Yes. I'm like that bag is not that damn big. Like, you not. I can't find him. I can't. No. Nah. She, knew, she knew what she was doing. Yeah. She was part of it. They were all part of it. The if entire. these are spoilers for you and you haven't seen Get Out yet, that is kind That's of actively you. your fault. It's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. It's on Netflix. Yeah, all of his films are on Netflix now, which is nope, great. Nope, it's on Netflix? Yeah. Okay, I'll have to watch them, that yeah. tonight. I'm very excited to see what Jordan Peele does next. Mm -hmm. And I hope Iowa Debra is in it. I will oh, put that yeah. out there. Let's, what a second Isn't she pregnant now? Iowa Debra? Is she? No. Am I silly? I'm probably, yeah. You're thinking of Halle Bailey, but that's, that's a different, I'm thinking that's a different wow. conversation. That's a different conversation. Now what about the uh, Scream series? I love Scream. I watched the original Scream last night. Mm. I I've seen it like 20,000 times, but I watched it again last night just for just for fun, for the spooks. I love. It still is so good. I love calling like my friends this time of year and like, like you like scary movies. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's up? Uh, I even have like the screen, um, the ghost face mask. Like I, I should have probably worn that tonight, man. Like a costume. Um, my like, favorite scary movie is Halloween with Michael Myers. Mm -hmm. um, I yeah. would every Halloween. I watched the original one from 1978, I think it is. Oh, cool. 78. Yeah. Um, watch it every year with my mom, but I don't get to do that this year, unfortunately. Yeah. But I know my mom's watching, so yeah. uh, mom, watch, uh, watch, watch Halloween in honor of me. But um, yeah. yeah. Are you? Um, oh, you're still good. No, Sorry. you're good. No, you're good. You no, go. I just love Michael Myers because I think that he's genuinely like so scary. Yeah. And he doesn't do much. Like he just kind of just like stands there in the shadows and then. And then he just ends up stabbing you. Like it's, yeah. he's scary. A little song plays yeah. in the background. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. I'm a big Halloween person too. And the f I saw the prequel first out of really? all, yeah, really? out of all of them, the Rob Zombie prequel. Oh. And that's the first horror movie my brother ever saw. And so he's like, I'm cool, I'm fine. This is all good. We were all standing in the kitchen. He walks to his room and the hallway's pitch black. And he just runs back into the kitchen and goes, it was dark. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, Aww. okay. <laughs> You weren't as good as you said. But yeah. yeah. No, I got to watch the um, the Rob Zombie one, the first one, recently, and it was. Uh, it was okay. It was it's something. I, mean, it was, I, know, it was I, I love the it Rob was. Zombie ones, but I think that they're they're definitely definitely Rob Zombie. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Very. Um, but yeah. How do we feel about the Nightmare Before Christmas? Cause I feel like that's kind of. Don't say it's a Christmas movie. It's it's I think it's both. It's, both. it's, it's, it's very like, much. You can watch it either time of the year. Yeah. And you mm -hmm. can be perfectly. It's perfectly acceptable to watch it either time of the year. Yeah. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Hot take, I don't really like it. 
Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm also not the biggest animation girl, so maybe uh, that plays a factor, but I just, I don't really, I watched it once and I was like, I, I disagree, but stand on your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it just, it didn't resonate with me. Maybe I watched it too late in life. That's I watched it as like a junior yeah. in high school. Yeah. Like, Ooh, so yeah. So there that's wasn't the like nostalgia factor yeah. like, attributed to that. And I honestly feel like that's the biggest reason why. And that's kind of why I put Monster House on my list. Because I yeah. feel like a lot of people don't really talk about that movie nah, I'm a with lot. You. I watch Monster so House. So like, it's always the Nightmare Before Christmas. But let's give Monster House his props, man. Like that was a really scary house. Come on. Did you guys watch Frankenweenie? <laughs> no. I, I love Frankenweenie. Wow. I didn't watch it either. I just went to see if anyone else did. Oh. Yeah, I barely yeah, remember it, so. but I saw it. <laughs> I thought we were going to talk about it. Um, I, I like that type of animation style. Okay. I love it. Okay, I gotta know though. Um, Disney Channel original movie, Girl vs. Monster. Yes, thank you for bringing it <laughs> up. How much do we love it? We love mm -hmm. it so much. I used to watch so it religiously much. as a kid. Like, that was my Bible. Like, I want to yeah. start singing the songs, but for everyone's, like, safety, I won't. It's so good. Real. It's so, it's so good. It's like playing in my head now. Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, you I had me at hello. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, no, Olivia Hull. Such Hole. a good track. Yeah. It is Olivia Hull, right? Yeah, yeah. Olivia Hull. Olivia like Hull. Oh, so good. Oh, so yeah. So good. It's I had funny. that soundtrack on repeat. It's, I still listen to it. Yep. Like, it'll come on my shuffle on Spotify, and I'm like, this is actually exactly what I need to listen to. I'm so to my 9 a.m. class. Mm -hmm. It's so good. I don't really watch a lot of, like, Disney movies. I kind of grew out of them, like, around, like, where Girl vs. Monster came up. Yeah. I think the last, like, probably Halloween-ish movie I watched from Disney is probably Twitches. And Twitches, Twitches is yeah, very uh, iconic. Was, yeah, that's a very iconic movie. Yeah. She made the third one, man. The first one and the second one were so good. Right? At the end of the second one yeah. With the mom. They oh, found, true. yeah, the mom. Yeah. I love that they found their dad like at the end at the end of the second movie. Yeah, so both Tia and Samara, I feel like have that talked movie's about been out doing like, a reboot. Thirty years. Oh, yeah, wow. it's Morgan. old. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I also am um, quite an avid Adams Family fan too. It's a good one. Both. Yeah. Classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Never seen. You really? Yeah. You like not I like, any. I'm not the biggest Halloween girl, I will say. No iteration of it at all? Like. Uh, unfortunately, the only iteration I've seen is the Netflix original Wednesday with Tina Ortega. Oh. Um, okay. So, well, that's the, an alright start to the, the, to the, the Adams like, family. The disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> But it's like, I, mean, I know Look, it. guys, it looks like that's all the time that we have. Um, stay, stay, stay next for the next segment coming up on The Blurt. Now, I don't know about you, but I've certainly made some dumb decisions in my life. But they aren't as dumb as constantly falling while a murderous villain slowly walks behind me. Luckily, not all horror movie characters are stupid. So we'll be talking about both the dumb and smart horror movie characters. Classic. Love being chased by, by a killer. Yeah, all the time. And I love tripping over my own foot. Um, I guess I would start with um, the anyone from like Paranormal Activity just living in that house. You know? Yeah, I feel like if I was, if you know, if I'm like, we're, if we're at like day three mm -hmm. and stuff's moving around and cabinets are flying open, I'm out. You know, yeah. I'm burning the house down. Like mm -hmm. whatever, give it the cockroach treatment. We're going down. Like, mm -hmm. I totally agree with that. I would not be in a house if I found out that it was possessed. Like it would not be for me. They can keep it. Yeah. Um, There's always one person that's like. No, we should stay. And the other's like, we should leave. He's yeah. like, no, we gotta stay. We gotta see this through. Right. No, you don't. No, it's you always don't. it's always like the boyfriend's like, I, you're you're going crazy. I, I no, promise the happened. house is fine. Yeah. Like, and like and they, they just like there's no rationale behind staying. They know it's haunted. Like they don't even get the priest to like make like get some holy water in the house or nothing. Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I would say for me, um, a dumb movie like a dumb decision would be from the movie Ready or Not. Um, it was with Grace uh, LeDemas, I think if I said her name right. Um, she literally marries into this perfectly wealthy, rich family. Finds the husband of her dreams, but she has to like prove that she's worthy of being in the family by playing a game of hide and seek, mm -hmm. like killer hide and seek. They literally chase her with guns, mm -hmm. uh, crossbows and axes and knives and everything to try to kill her but like before dawn like she has to survive before dawn mm -hmm. like why why would you stay honestly i would not have stayed in that marriage the divorce papers would That's have been right there on the table see i saw this and i immediately disagreed with you because she didn't know that she was going to be playing that game she had no idea she was playing exactly. a game but she pulled it and it was hide and seek and that's like the once in a lifetime kind of thing that happens and they're like 
uh-oh, this is literally the only game where we hunt you down and kill you. And she didn't know about that. And every single decision she made after that was so smart. Like, she just went through them like nothing. Right. Right. steal. Like, you still she played along with too. the game. No, she tried to escape. She tried, to, es her. She tried to escape. And, and she they still did fought get back. Her. But at the end of the day, like, even just when I would, would if I would have pulled it, me personally, if I pulled that card, that would have been out. I mean, as someone who's taken my hazing prevention and has certified, <laughs> I gotta say, it kind of sounds like hazing to me. Yes. Yeah. So it's gonna be a big no-no in my book. Mm -hmm. So, a little silly. No, but the end scene, so cool. That's all I'll say on that. Great. So Real. cool. Who is uh, Helen Shivers? Do we? Yeah, that's um, from I Know What You Did Last Summer. Oh, she I had several right. times escaped the murderer, and she's running down an alleyway towards a parade, and she turns around to look to see if he's behind her, and he plops down and kills her, literally feet away from a crowd of people. I'm like, come on, girlie, just keep running. Don't look behind going. you. Just keep going. It reminds me of the, um, the scene from American Horror Story where it's like, the asylum, mm -hmm. and they're like the... Um, uh, they were about to escape, and then Sarah Paulson is like, "Help! The killer's escaping!" <laughs> just like, <laughs> "Come on, come on!" Have uh, you guys seen? Oh, mother! Oh no, I was gonna say, uh, you guys, are y'all Saw fans by chance? I, am. I remember Saw Two, the glass box trap. Her mm -hmm. name was Addison. She like reached it because like there were like the two oh. holes in it, and like once she reached in, like the spikes like went directly into her. Yep. And like, couldn't she have like gotten like it was just it was a key shoot. Yeah. Right? Uh, it's been a while. I love saw. But the honestly, key was in the box, wasn't it? Right. And like she didn't have to actually reach through it. And basically, once she did, like she completely like just tore apart like her wrist. Like yeah, and she was yeah. trapped. That's the thing with a lot of the saw traps is that the answer is really obvious for a lot of them, and that's mm -hmm. what's like wild to me is that like obviously like, the fear of it. Obviously, like you're not just thinking straight, but like. It's it's wild to think in that situation how you could react. You know? mm -hmm. No, yeah. Jigsaw he he do he do be um, he be tripping though. Like he will literally. There was one trap I remember where he was like, "You have to look inward to find the answer," mm -hmm. and like he had a reverse shotgun. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God. And I'm, I'm, I'm terrified in the heat of the moment. I'm not gonna think inward, huh? This gun fires backwards. Like I'm not gonna just think. Yeah. Like I've got another person who's trying to fight for their life, and I've I've got a gun. I might as well shoot it. I'm not gonna think it's gonna shoot back at me. Exactly. Like <laughs> it's aiming at you. No, it was aimed at the other person oh, and it shot the yeah, other yeah. way. Oh. Mm -hmm. but yeah, but the glass box so annoying because she had tapes and didn't listen to them. And wasn't there a guy he like cut his leg off or something in the movie, but he didn't have to? Yeah. It's so that's the first yeah, one. Is it bad that I was thinking of a scary movie when it was Shaquille O'Neal no. and, and Dr. <laughs> Phil for a second? No, no. that's why. Oh. <laughs> but um, speaking of um, films or tapes, um, The Ring. Oh Anyone who God. had the tape. Just Any, don't watch it. Just don't watch it. It's so simple. It's mm -hmm. like, we have to see what's on this tape. No, you don't. But also <laughs> kids nowadays, you know? That's you, a kid. You get it. Yeah, I, I love just <laughs> popping in a VHS you, tape. Yeah, going, you just, that's crazy. You purposely popped in a VHS tape. It's like, yeah, I have to see what's on this tape. But right. you've literally been told that this tape kills people. But I have to see it. But you, you have to know. see you don't it. Need it. Like, I have I to see right. it. I'd watch it. Oh, okay. I have watched it <laughs> multiple yeah. times. Seven days. Right. It's classic. Well, we still got time. Can we shout out somebody smart? Absolutely. Chris from Get Out. Mm. Oh, Bugged yeah. his ears. Um, mm. When he was fighting the brother, like he kept kicking the door. He yeah. waited and stabbed him. Like yeah. that man, he was on it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Only yeah. dumb thing he did though, it was compassionate. Not dumb really, but like when he picked up the grandma. Mm. Oh, but try I, to save her. Yeah, but honestly, it made sense though, because he felt guilty about like his mom, so I can't got that. But yeah. other than that, though, he was playing chess. Yeah, he was literally hypnotized, and he still broke free and got his way out. So like, kudos. I love him. having a, a smart protagonist. Yes, it's so, it. very, it's so very so refreshing. rewarding. So rewarding. I love it. I mean, I would say, mm, have you guys ever seen Evil Dead? I have not. I that's I'm a very, I, the second one was like a pretty good one. I've never seen the first one because I've heard like mixed things about it. Um, produced and directed by Sam Raimi, Spider-Man, love him. Um, it was supposed to be, it's supposed to be more of like a comedy and made to be jokingly funny on purpose. There's like, um, the, the purpose of the movie is just the guy finds a cabin in the woods to bring his girlfriend or fiance to and the house is like pretty much um, possessed because of the net netrocon. I cannot say this. I cannot say this right. The necronomicon is like a book full of like spells and demons and possessions and everything. Mm -hmm. And the area that's around it is just possessed. Like they cannot leave at all. And they start turning. The other people who start coming to the house start turning on each other and everything. And it just like everything just falls through. Mm -hmm. 
I, I like that you asked like for the smart characters because I'm completely blanking on any potential good ones because there's just so many bad horror movies that just have awful protagonists. I mean, it's yes. just a trope that wor inherently works better when people make poor decisions. You That's know? real. Exactly. That's true. Yeah. Plot device. Plot device. I lo I'm not gonna lie, I kind of love the one where like they fall over nothing, like they're running from the yes. killer. And you always get that quick zoom in on the legs, they quick back to the character, back to the killer, and next thing you know, they trip over air. Not their own legs, not a random branch, it's just... Just anything. <laughs> I'm like, how did you fall? You literally could have gotten away. Mm -hmm. They even I think they made a joke about that in the scary movie series, I'm just, too. I'm certain they did. Like, Probably, I love, yeah. it's a good satire, I love mm -hmm. it. <laughs> I'm glad, uh, now that we're mentioning, that now that we mentioned um, Get Out, honestly, all of Jordan Peele's films have really strong protagonists mm -hmm. that are like really yeah. smart with yeah. it. Especially with like, I'm, I'm my instinct, like I came with Nope, where it's like, they like figure out a lot how to figure, like how to wrangle this, um, how to wrangle it and not to look at it and all that. And it was really cool how they did it. Yeah, it's the cir circumstance that makes it like hard mm -hmm. for them and not the characters themselves yeah. that make it like, so that they're, you know, in the midst of this awful situation, which yeah, is cool. Totally. And he also drops like little breadcrumbs about like what's going on in this movie mm -hmm. too. Like I love how um, the first insight of it was really the police officer in Get Out. Was it for Nope or? No, for Get Out. For the police officer like tried to start a problem with the oh, guy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. To, like, oh, okay. girlfriend's and house. How, like, she, um, she doesn't let the cop get his ID because she didn't want a trail of yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes. I gotta rewatch that movie now. It's wow. So, it's so good. I rewatched it for a, a homework assignment. I was just like so indulgent <laughs> to it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Can we also talk about um, Misery? That's a mm -hmm. good movie. That's a very good movie. Like literally. That's um, a movie? That's yes. how college makes me feel. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, uh, the, she's um, Annie. I cannot think of her last name. Mm -hmm. It's blanking. But Annie is obsessed with this writer named Paul. And she's so obsessed with him. She like. Um, brings him back to her house as mm -hmm. he injures himself in the car accident and makes him rewrite the book mm -hmm. because you know what's she's crazy? like obsessed with him and wants like the perfect ending for herself. I haven't seen this, but I know Family Guy did a parody of this Yes. Movie, which is That's so funny. she yeah. hobbled, yeah, yeah. yeah. Stewie hobbled. Now I gotta watch the movie, thank you. <laughs> yes, but when we were talking about smart horror movie characters, this is the first person that came to my mind. I've seen this movie multiple times because I love it so much. It's Aaron for You're Next because the whole plot is like it's a home invasion and it's literally like home alone for adults. Mm -hmm. She's setting up traps everywhere. She's handing out weapons to people. Every single person that comes in, she's prepared. She's ready. It's insane. I love her so much. That's how I would want to be if uh, I was in a, a horror movie because she, she was using a blender as a weapon as at a one point. Weapon. I love that. Yeah. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. no, no, she like even in that picture, I'm pretty sure like on one she like nailed, like oh. nails through a board and put it down by the window. So if they came in, they'd step on it. Mm -hmm. Literally home alone for adults. So funny, but also you know horror movie. No, it's good. Not I, funny. I would say a smart decision would probably be from the characters in A Quiet Place. Mm -hmm. That they're like when they took their shoes off and everything. Um, how they even had like a um, um, soundproof like carriage for like the baby to carry around so they wouldn't make any noise. Mm -hmm. Cool. Or even with um, Bird Box. That was, oh, yeah. Uh, that was, that like, was similar to that. Is that more like horror psychological too? A little bit of, yeah, a little bit of both, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of. But, I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, this is proving I have a lot of movies I need to watch. Yeah. Because we, I gotta get caught up. And it's like, it's Halloween. So I've, I've been watching a lot of like the classical ones, like the 80s and stuff, and I'm like, these are really, awful like trope yeah. ones. It, it's good it's like it's it's awesome so it's mm -hmm. a good time yes well i could talk about scary movies all night but it looks like all the time we have left for this block viewers don't go anywhere because we're gonna see which cast member can win a game of family feud on the night of fright all right viewers it's time to play family nah i think i have a better name for it how about we call this blurby feud <laughs> we have our amazing cast members playing playing tonight Three different questions, four answers. Whoever get the most questions correct, win. This is gonna be fun, right? Yeah. yeah. Now let's see who has the best Halloween insight tonight. Okay. Let's do it. Very exciting. Um, You're risen, Harry. I'm about to come on. Now, what is the most popular Halloween song? 
Oh, Wait, should we go don't you want one of us to come up? You guys come up. Oh, okay. Wait, is it the captain first? Yeah. Captain first, okay, okay. Alex. Okay. 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 Oh, I didn't realize how we were doing this. This is fun. Cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, now. Hands what is yeah, hands behind your back. Oh, okay. Yeah, hands behind your back, guys. Come on, Rocco. Now, name one of the most popular Halloween songs. Thriller by Michael Jackson. You gotta hit it again. You gotta press <laughs> it. There you go. Thriller by Michael Jackson. Yes, that's one. Yeah. yeah. Now, do I say it? Oh my God, we go to the we go to the families. We got to go to the families. Oh my God, wait, let's do some fun. I have a family feud work for a second. Love or just therapy. <laughs> okay. Hi, mom. All right, Hayden. Name one popular Halloween song. Monster Mash. It's one. Yes. 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 Uh, go family. I feel like this might be a little too easy. No. Mm -hmm. I'm no. nervous now. Like you have to second question. Keep right? going. All right, on. Ghostbusters. That's the one. Yes. Yes. I'm nervous now. I feel like you guys looked at some of the questions. <laughs> You guys got, got a good lead. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take it to like the next group. That is not how family I thought it said. No, that's not how it works. Is it? Get three wrong. Yeah. They're doing good so far. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, go to My answer is gonna be bad, but. No, it's uh, not. No. Call it all the monsters? It should no. be on there. That's a great answer. Yeah, I guess it would be no. Mm mm. Okay. okay. So we did thriller, we did. I did Monster Mash. Mm -hmm. Ghostbusters, another ho Oh, wait. I don't know what it's called, but I always feel like somebody's watching me. That is the name of the song right there. Somebody's watching me? No. That's not on there? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. This <laughs> is a hard one. Yeah. I had it. So, okay. I'm going to say Season of the Witch. No. Mm. What? Oh. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, there you now you can go. <laughs> yeah. You guys are doing good at first. <laughs> So if they can't come up with one, then we, yeah. Okay. okay, guys, they got three of them wrong. Okay. Oh, gosh. Um, uh, oh, gosh. I don't even know. Oh, um, I, I, Werewolves of London. Oh. Yay! We were supposed to. Nope. Did you have any mic? I'm trying to pull up the second question. <laughs> good game. Good game. My bad. You're good. Um. <laughs> hey it's Bamaramas. So. Hey guys, it's Halloween. I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> Expect the patrol. Okay. <laughs> okay. Name something you do when you run out of Halloween candy. I think that was, no, that was you. Do you see it blinking? <laughs> Can you repeat the question again? Name something what? you do when you run out of Halloween candy. When you run out? Yeah. Oh, you trick or treat for more. That's one, yeah. Thank you. All right, all right. Wait. How many steps does everyone is very tired? What's up? Hey, got the point? You got the point, keep going. All right, so now it's your turn. Yes. Yeah. Um, buy more. I think that's basically what he said. Hater said you get Well, technically more. mine is free. Yeah, mine yeah. you pay for. Are there two different things on there? No. Nah. Okay. So okay. it's still the same thing. So that's, okay. that's one X. Jenny, turn out the lights. Yes, that's one. Whoa. Okay. Um, my answer is going to be you give out other pieces of food or toys. That can count. Yeah. Yeah. That's one. Woo. That count for one of them. Uh. You give a trick. No. Uh, mm -mm. Uh, one more act or out. That's okay. Yeah, sorry guys, I, I don't know. Um, you combine with the neighbors and pretend you were with them all. Ooh. Week. That's a good answer, but no. Oh, it's okay. It's I've right. never heard anyone do that, but that's a good one. Nah, sorry. I take it to the next scene. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, name something you do when you run out of Halloween candy. All right, this is kind of similar to you, Professor, but. 
Yeah. Nah, he already got that one. Oh, did they? Yeah. Uh, so when he was like standing up, when he was standing up there and he even uh, said it again at the desk. Okay. Um, okay. Then, like, TV house. Nah. Classic. That was my first time. The answers, the other answers that I was looking for was um, give fruit, mon give money, and give stationery or pen pencils and pens. So, like, giving specific pens. Yeah. That's your buddy Bastion. <laughs> okay, guys. Name a monster that can take Dracula in a fight. Frankenstein. That's one, yeah. Woo! That's okay, they could use around. Yeah, they need points. Yeah. Right. Okay, guys. They're. They're in the lead, yeah. but I, you guys, you guys can do this. I, I, I believe you guys on this one. Uh, Name a monster that could take Dracula in a fight. The Wolfman. Nope. What? Okay. Right. I don't know. So that wouldn't, that wouldn't fall in the wrong like werewolf. That would be. That is like Wolfman. Yeah. yeah. No, same realm. Okay. Okay. Um, I have one maybe. Creature from the Black Lagoon? No. Creature of the Night. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's it. Okay. Uh, okay. I said Frankenstein. I wonder. I wonder. You said Dra Dracula. Yeah, we're taking Dracula. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're, we're, we're taking Dracula. What if, what if we went what if we got Come on. You got it. You got, you got it. All right. Dracula reverse it. Alucard. Good answer. Good answer. Alucard? From Castlevania. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> no. Uh, what? <laughs> no. Almost had him. <laughs> Why was that an answer? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's a clever answer. Alucard? Door. I've never heard <laughs> It's a clever oh. dueling. All right. Where not on all systems go. He's on ASG. Helicar? So tall. Oh, my word. I feel like I should give you. I Is feel, it our turn yet? Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to come over. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I feel like I should give y'all another chance. All right. <laughs> That's not how the game works. I know. Let it go over there. That's I know. how the game works. Three strikes. I feel that. The old feud game. Okay. Oh, yeah. Name a monster that could take Dracula in a fight. Claudine Wolf. No. From Monster, yeah. High. From Monster High, she definitely could beat him. Dracula's musty. Claudine is oh. epic. Isn't that her best friend's dad, though? Yeah, but like, no. who cares? Okay. Okay, what were the other answers? Yeah, what were the answers? Uh, they got Frankenstein. Is that the yeah, only well, answer? No, it's more answers. Yeah, what, what else? Answers? Yeah, we got we oh, I thought I was gonna let y'all. I was gonna let the rest of y'all go through That's it. That's not how the game works. Yeah. We got Godzilla, King oh. Kong, oh. Jason, and Freddy Krueger. Oh. I was oh. I, that's why I was gonna give y'all a chance. No, that's yeah, no. that's why I was gonna give them a yeah. chance. Yeah. Yeah. Us too. Yeah, I think Godzilla's technically a play. Mm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Wait. Okay. So don't, so don't we get that round by the? We yeah. get that round. No, by they won. Oh, no, is that the game? That's the game. Is that, that the game? game? That's oh, it. Oh. It was. <laughs> but because oh. they didn't get it, it goes back. Well, guess what? Well, that's why. We, well, that's why I was gonna give y'all another chance because they had more and they. But that's not how this. But we'll take the window. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's like. Happy Halloween. Hey, bring the camera back. To Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Team House and Dean, we had a good run. We're feeling really confident <laughs> no, for next game. We did not. You know, <laughs> it was a really close <laughs> game. We almost had them. So you know, certainly granted. Team Captain. <laughs> Thinking a lot about about this game. Yeah, I think we really gave it our all. All right, Del, all right. hit us with it. That was a fun game, guys. Next up, stick around. We hope you survived this night. This night, for our cast members, we'll talk about the ne the new Five Nights at Freddy's movies. Last Friday, creator of the game series Five Nights at Freddy's, Scott Cawthon released his love letter to his fans with a film adaptation in theaters and on Peacock. So far, it's been doing extremely well at the box office and is being well received by the game's long-term fans since its release. 
Tonight, we're here to give our spoiler-free review and general thoughts on the film. So I think we should just start off. What, are, what were our thoughts on the, on the movie? Good. I yeah. loved it, honestly. Really? Really nice. It was solid. I mean, it was a solid movie. I thought that it was a great departure from, uh, you know, its original source material. No, I mean, 19-year-old me went into that theater, but 14-year-old me was watching that yeah. movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100%. Because I was like, God, what was I, like, 10 or 11 when the game first came out? Oh, gosh. Oh, I was gosh. young, and now oh, I'm... Gosh. Wait, no, okay, what year did it come out? 2014? 2014. Yeah, okay, I was 14. Right. Came out 2014. Yeah. Easy to um, Ratings out of 10, what do we think? Mm -hmm. I Ooh. give it an 8.7. 8 point, that's really oddly specific. But yes. I'll go with it. 7. Um, it's, it's specific for a reason. Uh. <laughs> Honestly, I give it a 9. I thought it was, I thought it was a banger. I'll be I, honest with you, Coleman. I give it an A. Coming from somebody who honestly really hasn't dabbled into the Five Nights at Freddy's material that much. I never really played any of the games. I've seen some videos about it and know the lore a little bit. But going into it, I still think that even without getting into the lore of the fr franchise that much, I think it's pretty good. I give it an A, that's it. I was, um, I'm going to give it a 7, B, and I really like the film. I did really enjoy yeah. it. Okay. Um, and I think... Even though it didn't follow, it didn't like cover every single thing. It had little like bits and pieces of the lore from other games there. It didn't need to follow the entire like storyline. I'm kind of glad it didn't. I'm glad it centered yeah. around like the first game itself because I feel like it was just it was more like comprehensible. Absolutely. Because I mean like, um, it, there's so much lore that they built up with. All That's the games. an understatement. <laughs> There's like a five hour video that you could watch. Yeah, that. like I, I saw like an eight hour long YouTube yeah. video about like just, every, just go to Matt Pat's channel. Honestly, just, just go to thrilled. his channel at this point. Um, right. Do I think it follows the lore well? Uh -huh. Not. So there were some weird. gnarly retcons in that, and that yeah. made me angry. I agree. Yeah. I'm not going to specify what, there but I will say there was a specific retcon that really upset me. I think I know what you're talking about. We'll Everyone yeah. knows what we're talking we'll, about. We'll if you have seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It is gnarly, and it grinds my gears. Yeah, oh, my. And I can't say anything about it, because like I said, I haven't played the game. I was going to so say, I know you I'm have, just listening to you I guys. know you don't know yeah. the all that much. That's fair. Um, I think that it does really well with, uh, I mean, they showed him in the trailer. They do really well with spring trap. Yeah, he's um, he's in the trap. They do really well spring with trap. spring trap. Ooh. They Loved handle spring trap so the much. whole, you know, everything was becoming so who he is type yeah. of thing really well. Yeah. You know, and why he's this big <laughs> terrifying figure. He's probably my favorite um, FNAF character I after love the movie. Matthew Lillard killed it. I was gonna say oh, I yeah. love the Shaggy just did that. You know, yeah. Matthew Lillard. Wait, yes. that was that was Shaggy. That was Shaggy. Yeah, that's yeah. Shaggy. Shaggy. That's Shaggy Rogers. Yeah, of course it was. Interesting. And, uh, well, he, he was also in Stu Scream. Scream <laughs> yeah. So. Right. He's got the whole <laughs> psychopath. And <laughs> oh gosh. He's got the whole psychopath thing. Wait, the Freddy on his shoulder in the graphic. That's beautiful. Um, I also anyway. think Josh Hutcherson was fantastic. Yes. Yes. I would have to agree. Um, really yes. Good. I'm glad to see him doing Josh I'm Hutcherson. glad to see him, period. Yeah. Real. I'm, I'm with you. I'm not Literally big, every oh, single man. time he came on screen, I looked over at my friend and I went smash underneath my breath. <laughs> I would high five you, but I don't know where your hands are. <laughs> I'm not big yeah. on, um, I'm not huge on child actors usually in a lot of films. I think they He's not a child. No, I'm not no. saying Josh. Okay. <laughs> the actor of Adam Oh, I was about yes. to say Josh Hutchinson is I, not a child. Segue. Josh Hutcherson, I thought was I when's the last time he's been in a movie? A while. I don't know. Since uh, what? Like Hunger, Hunger Games? Games maybe? No, so no, no. He, okay. It's been a while. So but Josh I'm glad to see him in a project. been in again. other things, but they're only been like straight to like Apple TV. Oh. Uh, but he's been in a Fair amount since the Hunger Games, just not as much. Fun fact: He was also in Zathura. Uh, I know. Like, I when when I tell people that, they're like, "Are you sure?" First movie I like, watched with him was Bridge to Terabithia. Oh, that that destroyed me. Anyway. Rocco, <laughs> what were you gonna say yeah. about uh, the actor of Abby? The child actors in a lot of films just generally kind of annoy me, and I'm not huge yeah. on child actors, but I really liked the acting that the kid brought uh, Abby mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. it, and I think it was really well done. It wasn't just like some child saying yeah, lines. Yeah. That I really liked. Absolutely. Like, that's I the whole kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that the actress, uh, P Piper Rubio. Um, wow, she, you got that. Yeah, I, I know actors. That's my party <laughs> trick. Um, Slay. <laughs> I thought that she did fantastic. Um, and especially considering, like, what you said about most child actors, just like reading a script and getting paid for it, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. Um, she did great. I mean, I she really displayed a lot of emotion, especially with, like, a lot of the more, like, deeper scenes. Um, in, in the film, mm -hmm. considering like you know what we know about 
the animatronics and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. when she finds out about that, and then like her and her and Mike's brother and all that. Like mm -hmm. that, that whole thing is like you know. And she does very good. Make sure to not dip into spoilers. That's real. I didn't really. Um, you didn't, but you were getting there. Um, well, I, I tell. I feel line. like Doug the lawyer needed more screen time. Doug the lawyer. Doug the lawyer. Yes, yes, don't worry, I forgot time. about him. So Doug the Doug's lawyer. Time. I would have a Doug film separate on its own. He looked terrified the entire movie. That point, he only smiled really once during man. the restaurant scene. He was so. great. He did. He's I loved him. I shouldn't be here. Um, can we talk about the animatronics for a bit? The cupcake. Yes. Um, I, I think we should talk about specifically. Um, I know that a lot of the scenes. I I read up about like the production of the film. I know mm. that a lot of the scenes were actual like robotics and a lot of them were people in suits but then they were cgi'd over yes yeah really okay. but yes. i think that they look fantastic so they, they look yes. then they move just like they would mm -hmm. just, just like you think they would wait so there were actual people like in the suit? in the costumes yeah. yes really meta so the they, yeah they, they could have had what if they actual... got spring locked yeah. i was about to are you moving them out from the dock i've been trying my best the that. bite of 23. Is that the bite of 23? When you and the purple man. Well, Fun what? fact. Uh, there was Are a you certain, the man behind the slot? There was a certain scene that I'm not going to name. Yeah, there was a, everyone knows. Yeah. There was a certain mm -hmm. scene, and in the theater, um, several people yelled, was that the bite of 87? Yes, I did that. Um, I was, I I was that. one of them. I said that under my when breath. When did the bite of 2000, though? Oh they, yeah, because I don't know. At one point, when does it in, take place? Yeah, it, at I one thought it point, took place in 2000. In a split second frame, it says April uh, like sixth, 2000. Wow, you analyzed it. Oh wow, you had that. How many times did you watch this movie? Jeez. Once. Oh wow. Once. We watch it. We watch it at the same time. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> what? Scary. That scared Woo! me. It was even that loud. Man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Whenever. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. Okay. I was about to say a word, but I can't. All right, Jenny. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to talk about the character of Mike for a minute. Please. Um, I thought that we already talked about actors and how well that they played them. You know, Josh Hutcherson was fantastic as Mike. But coming from the character of Mike that was in the games where you don't know what he looks like, yep. don't know how he acts, what his personality is. Josh Hutcherson did fantastic at capturing that character, and mm -hmm. I think it... Mike's writing overall was just pretty fantastic. Um, I also want to say um, Elizabeth Lale was in this, and I wasn't expecting that. Yes. I'm not going to say anything Who? about I that. I don't think we should. I don't think so, Come but um, she was I'm from Guinevere Beck from You. I yeah. think, and it was okay, I think we can kind of say, because she's the, the cop in the trailer. Oh, she's the cop that in the trailer? Okay, Dude, I, yeah. know, I wasn't sure if she was in the trailer. We not. shouldn't say the big twist. No, the yeah, the cop in the trailer was Elizabeth Lale, and she plays Guinevere Beck, and I love it. I love it. I was like, I was, I was trying to piece, yeah. I was in the theater trying to piece, how do I know this actor? And then I was like, oh, it's Guinevere Beck. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, should you say her character? No. I'm not gonna. <laughs> no. You can, I won't. Even before the big twist? Correct. I, uh, I think I think we should keep that because like yeah. yes the everyone cop. can call it but also like I don't like, know maybe someone doesn't call it I don't no, know that's just true. just call her the cop that's true just call yeah. her the cop um, she's Freddy Fazbear my, oh you're yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, sorry sorry guys I had to say it yeah. she's Gordon Freddy I knew it yep I watched it um my question is guys should we or should we not talk about the cameo probably not. I mean, um, I like the actual okay. general reaction people had in the theaters to a lot of the That's cameos. Yeah. One of one of the cameos was in the trailer. Uh, was the, it? Corey Kenshin. Okay. Oh, oh he was okay. in the trailer, yes. yeah. He, like, I, can you tell him? Hyper analyze the trailer? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I should be wrong and you just spoiled the movie for a bunch of people. <laughs> no, no, Sorry, I, guys. Every, okay. every single, like, frame of this trailer is just ingrained in my brain. So he's the he's the taxi driver, and that's what got people like speculating on. Oh, are there going to be other cameos? And in another frame in the trailer, uh, from the uh, background, you can see the list of employees of the month. It's that's a bunch right. of different YouTubers. That's right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was really good. Yeah, I'm a nerd. It really was. Um, um, anyway. But yeah, I thought it was a f I thought it was a fantastic film. You know, with 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 coming from, I think it was the perfect amount of cheesy, while also taking itself. Uh, seriously, but not too serious. Yeah, it, it knew its audience, and it had a lot of fun doing it, and yeah. it wasn't too serious. It, hel it helped that the creator of the series produced the film. True. And yeah. the and the director Which said I it's like deliberately like Scott. for oh, like Scott. long time Scott. fans. Well, we sure had a great time joining the animatronic family, but coming up next, join us for a bite as our cast gives a Halloween fashion show. It's really good.
Welcome back. The Blurb is ready to have their own spooky Blurb Gala. Featuring members of the Cosplay Club and our cast. Let's see these fits. Yes, well, I want to start with us, of course, yes, representing. Of course. Uh, of course. I will be wearing uh, loaded diapers representing Roger Keffley from Diver Wimpy Kid. And I am just your local Raven Claw Girly. The one and only Raven The one Claw. and only. Me That's and Zane right. actually twins, so. That's real. Voldemort, shout Voldemort, out. Voldemort, Come on out. our show. Anyways, starting off with the cast of the blurb, we have Anne Marie, who is playing Poison Ivy. Slay. Love it. Love it. It's giving green. It's giving. It's the green ball. How long did the makeup take? Uh, like 30 seconds because I used a stencil. Love to hear it. Oh, that's really good. Nice. Two dollars. Love Slide. it. <laughs> All right, and then next up we have Adele, who is a vampire named. Marshall Lee? Marshall Lee. Marshall Lee from Adventure Time. Let's give it up for Marshall Lee. Love it. Next up, we have Coleman playing Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Oh my god, he's gonna fight. Come here! He, oh, he's into it. Wow. He's about to fight. That he's is about, Scorpion. He's the about to engage in some combat, that's for sure. Love it. All right, next up we have Jenny, who is Yip Yip from Sesame Street. It's what, so good. It's, yeah, it's great. So good. Iconic. Okay, let's yes. keep it going. Next up we have Hayden playing Array. the one of Harry Potter. Harry. <laughs> give me a spell, Ben. Give me a spell. X-Men moment! Oh Love my god, you, you did that so well. Next you, up, we have Ariana as Sophia Petrello from Petrello. the Gold Petrello from the Golden Girls. Love it. Yes, uh, look into this, get into this couture. Wow, the moment. Couture. Wow. Get into it. Next up, we have Nick playing the one and only Travis Kelsey, the football player not related to anything else in pop culture terms. No, he just plays football. Just he's, football. He's not dating anyone important. Nope. And next up, we have Will, who is a knight, sword and all. Love Give it up for the cast of The Blurb, Woo! everyone. Next up, we have a special little guest. We have the Cosplay Club from Kent State Zone coming in. Starting off, we have Carly, who's playing Vampire Hatsune Miku. Give it up. Love it. Look at the makeup. The wig? Ugh. Look at the makeup. Look at the wig. Get into Everything. it. Everything. Get into it. And then we have Luca, who is the marionette from FNAF is this? Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes. Five Nights at Freddy's. Look at that on theme. <laughs> they had to have known. Next we have Grace playing, I'm going to butcher this, Maka Albarn from Soul Eater. Look at, get into the skirt. The gloves, the jacket, get into the eating. Skirt. Love it. So Soul good. eating. So good. And then next we have Isa, who is, I'm unfortunate. Gaiuba, I believe. Gaiuba from Final Fantasy. Gaia. 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 Gaia from Final Fantasy. Oh. Never get it right. And then now we have the incredible crew that's working behind the scenes of the blurb. <laughs> Who do we have up first? That would be Darian playing Peter Gabriel from Fox Trots. Give it up for Peter Gabriel! Woo! Next up, Anthony. Next up, we have Anthony, who is a snowboarder. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. About to hit the snow. Love to hear it. Next up, we have Sophia playing the one and only Ryan Gosling. I love wow. you in La La Identical. Land. Wow, identical. My favorite. La La Thank you, Barbie. And yes, of course. And lastly, but certainly not least, we have Fennel and Jenica as Buttercup and Wesley from The Princess wow. Bride. Love it. Look at them go. The moment. Look at them go. This, is, the such, this is such a great costume. I love yes. this costume. Yeah. Now, real quick, I would like to have the cosplay club go up to the floor wall and talk a little bit about the club, promoting, etc. what they have to say. Hi, yes. I'm great. I'm the president of the cosplay club. Here's my other officers, Luca, Carly, and Issa's coming right behind. But the Cosplay Club has just started its first full year running as a club. It's super duper fun. It's welcome to all members of all interests with cosplay. We do all sorts of things. We do workshops on how to. We do. We just had a big Halloween party with two other clubs, and we're hopefully going to be hosting a masquerade in the next month or two, which is basically just a big cosplay talent show. So. But yeah, we'd love for you to stop by. We have a meeting tomorrow. We usually alternate Tuesdays, Wednesdays from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. in Bowman Hall usually. And all our information is usually on our Instagram or Discord. You can find us at KSU Cosplay Club. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Yeah. Guys.
Guys, I think we all did a wonderful job today. I'm really proud of us. A lot of effort. Great costumes. So love much it. fun. Love it. Yeah. Well, I mean, this was wonderful. This is great. I, I feel like it's been too long. We, we haven't done this, and I feel like, we, you know, we should have yeah. had this a lot earlier. But I think this is the perfect occasion, having a Halloween episode. And of course. Just, it's great. I yeah. love it. Anyone, anyone will talk about how long their costumes took? Any particulars? I purchased everything, and this is already in my closet. <laughs> I think I spent like $8 on the entire outfit. And, it's good, I like right? it a lot. Thank you. Loaded diaper. It's a good time. Yeah. I loved Yip Yip, that was great. You said it was Yip from Yip sixth great. grade? Yeah. Your costume? That's really, that's phenomenal. I love it. You guys wanna, come on over, yeah. come on over. Come, come on over, everyone. you guys. Let's join, let's get everyone up here. A little, so, little chatter. who do we think had the best costume? Us. <laughs> nice I will say, matching. if Taylor come was on. here, if we had a Taylor, it, you're over here. <laughs> Taylor and Travis, what are you? I'm sorry, she's at home. Taylor's not here. Taylor's not here. She's actually just working on the reputation re record, she so she's busy. Real. She's busy, real. yeah. What's, I mean. What's everyone's favorite Halloween memory? That's kind of a loaded question, wow, actually. Wow, that is heavy. That's a, uh, I remember. Oh, no, you first. I'm sorry, first. I talk a lot. Yeah, you and Travis. Um, okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, um, Taylor just can't get a word watching in. Watching the Great Pumpkin with my grandma. That's um, a good one. That's a really good one. Uh, yeah, that's that's one of my favorite holiday staples. Trick or treating. I, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you can't really go wrong with that. Yeah. What are, any any memorable Halloween costumes? Uh, last not last year, two years ago, my dad and I went to Harry Ween. So ah. it was so cute. We were Princess Tiana and Doctor Facilier. Oh. I always oh, have to look out That's really cute. Tiana. Yeah, I was the Shadow Man. Yeah, my dad yeah. wore a green dress. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's New beautiful. York City. No, absolutely. What yeah. in New York? Yeah. Coleman. I know. I mean, look at you. You gotta have something up your sleeve. I mean, well, yeah. I was gonna say, even though I was, even though this year I'm. Mortal Kombat's face Scorpion in my freshman year of high school, I was Street Fighter's homeboy Ryu, so I had to switch up the fighting game craze a little bit. Mm. But you know, that's that's what I gotta say. Get over here. You and your well, fighting you guys, games. that's a wrap on our Halloween Blair Gala. We hope you had as much of a fright as we did. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you next week for more celebrity. Have a happy Halloween, guys.